Mr. Sunshine. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm back. Kind of took a week off kind of thing. No particular reason other than I'm just a little bit down is all. Life kind of kicking me and I'm trying to get back up. But yeah, I took a little bit of time off YouTube and uh, I'm usually kind of slow on Instagram anyways, but some stuff will come up today. So I actually cleaned up the TRX-6, took apart the portals and diffs, make sure they're all greased up because winter's coming and uh, she's ready to go. I also changed the motor. It had uh, Castle Slate uh, 2850 or 2750. I remember it being a weird number. And uh, now it's got the 2300 KV Tekken in it, so slightly uh, same pinion. Uh, slightly more torquey. It's just that the Rock 412 is a great motor, but it's kind of becoming old school. So when I go to try and slow crawl with it, it's a little more chuggy than the other motor. So I might try and get... Oh, more sun. I might try and get myself a uh, censored ESC for it, because I don't have any more. I only got one, and it's in Relic. Shiny. going back and brushed as an experiment but it's not terrible but man I'd really miss the really miss the power of the brushless system if I go back to brush again but I kind of want this thing to crawl you know Yes, I would love to get another censored combo, but that's not in the cards right now. So you're in the high gear now with this, it's still got loads of power too. It's a little hard to control. One-handed and all that, but yeah. Loads of junk. I don't know about this. <laughs> Still the stock front servo in there, it's steering servo too. I don't want to jinx myself when I say that. But it is. Six by six, baby. True, it's one of the more expensive RCs out there when it comes to 110 crawlers. But if you can get your hands on one of these, you're not gonna regret it because it does pretty much anything you tell it to. Two speeds nice, locking and unlocking depths I think still work on this thing, but I don't use them anymore. I already did this line a moment ago, but I don't think I was recording. So I'm doing it again. <laughs> That's about as slow as she goes. Which isn't terrible, and it's not chugging on me. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm hitting the roof. I didn't even see that. Those are uh, Proline 1.9 flat irons. Way different from the flat irons we used to get way back in the day. With the old uh, axial kits, because the flat irons that came with it did not work in the winter at all. These are great tire. This section's pretty tough. Only a couple of my trucks that I won't even try it. But this is probably my most capable machine. Next to maybe my AX10, but that thing's loaded. And I mean loaded. Oh, that tire's not spinning. Oh, the rear 
your diffs aren't locking. Still did okay though. Might have to look at that after. Right now I'm okay with it. Not even try one and two at the old one, two, three hill. I'm going straight to number three. Doesn't like the tight corners. <laughs> Just digging four holes. It's that one root. Gotta love a six by six man. Glad I brought this out today. It's been a while. that flex all day. into a big old jagged rock. I'm out of practice on the filming. Keep losing the truck. Oh, River Trail East today, in case I didn't mention it earlier. But we'll be picking up those cans in a moment. Right after I get up this here hill. Nice. All kinds of squishing and folding going on.
to love six by sixes, man. Have I said that before? Didn't go to the river. All right, well, that last rollover didn't go so well. Truck's fine. I'm actually sweating. Took the toque off even. A little warm out. <laughs> That's gonna be it for the trail today, though, guys. Sorry I took uh, so much time away. I do miss it, and I'm, of course I'm getting slightly excited about uh, getting home and doing some editing because I haven't done that in a while either. You guys are gonna see some more of that uh, rock hobby fire horse. I got a plan for it. It's a hard body, and uh, I think I figured out a way to remove some more weight. Sorry that I continuously mentioned that things aren't going great for me, but it's the way they're going right now. <laughs> Not great at all. Um, I'm going to try and keep more of that to myself, but I appreciate all the kind messages I get from people. I had a couple guys check on me on Instagram, making sure I was alright. I'm as alright as I can be with the position I'm in right now. But uh, yeah, I'll try and keep that down. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate all the support that you guys have given me and all the time I've been on YouTube, especially lately. Because I've been needing it. All right, final hell out. We'll get this and that'll be it. Thanks for watching. Got all of a six by six.